both as the senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and as a victim of insecurity in this country. Recall, Your Excellency, my distinguished colleagues, a few months ago, armed men invaded my house in my village, over 15 of them, all bearing AK-47 rifles, abducted my stepmother, abducted my two brothers, villagers came out, confronted them, released my two brothers, and went out my, with my father's wife, who left behind an 11-day-old baby. Also, Your Excellency, a few months ago, the same bandits came back to my village and killed the ward chairman of my party in my own ward. I am a victim. Michka Madagali, that I represent here today, from 5th November to 11th January, Boko Haram visited that place nine times. They turned the place into Boko Haram ban. Whenever they run out of food, they stroll into those local governments, cut away their food, cut away their drugs, empty their shops, supermarkets, and take it back to their forest, almost unchallenged. Mr. President, we never had it this bad of recent years. We never had it this bad in this country, security-wise. Few days ago, you called me to present you at the burial of the current chairman of my local government. That was abducted by Boko Haram and killed like an animal. They slaughtered him. I represented you in that burial. Mr. President, a lot of us have spoken here today. But let me add my voice. Going by the budget office from 2012, 2019, the Nigerian military alone received over 4.5 trillion naira. This is a government budget budgeted by the National Assembly. <laughs> Service-wide vote and other sorts of funding is not inclusive of these funds. So it's not all about funding. How do our military utilize this? On the, on the 3rd of January, when Boko Haram invaded that community, when they were repaired, they camped after Kuburusha show, a river within Michka. Security force could not go there because they told me that their vehicle has spoiled. Soldiers. Mr. President, sir, I want to plead. The service chiefs have done their best. But I think they have run out of ideas. When they came in, they came with vigor, they came with force, they came with strength. And we are seeing results. Things have deteriorated. I am calling. The service chiefs were appointed on the 5th, on the 13th of July, 2015. As of today, the service chiefs have been in office for four years, six months. We are talking about overhauling the security architecture. There is grumbling within the military. They are grumbling. Silence is no longer golden here. Let me bother out of my sister. Yesterday's your survivors are today's victim. Today's survivors are tomorrow's victim. Mr. President needs to reject the security apparatus. And if we need foreign help, we should not be ashamed of asking for foreign help to come and help us. Today, in Borno State, virtually all trunk air roads are shut down in Borno State. Trunk bureau are also shut down in Borno State. Nobody there moved. I call on the president commander in chief of the armed forces to look inward. I want to repeat, the security chiefs have done their best. I think it's time to bring in new, new ideas to come and help this country. Thank you for your time, sir.